payroll liabilities. From my home ribbon, I'm going to go to taxes and payrolls. And underneath payroll section, you're going to see payroll liability summary. So when I select that, you're going to see at the top, you got a refresh, you can print PDF. So here is where I'm going to select which payroll agency I want to remit for. So in this example, we're going to use receiver general and you can pick whatever time frame you need to remit for. So here's our breakdown of our payroll liabilities, my employee and employer side. Employee again for EI, employer side for EI, and then for all taxes. Now, if I need to see details of any of these, I can just simply click it, go up to view liability entries and get the details. Let's see what we got for federal tax here. There we go. You can make adjustments as needed. You just simply click it. You see, we're going to adjust this. Now, again, anytime you make adjustments in here, make sure this date falls within that reporting date. If you don't set it back, it, you won't see the adjustment in that particular reporting date. So you have to take it back to that reporting date. Select your adjustment account, whichever you want it to be. You know, maybe it has some kind of a expense or something. Put a little description, whatever it's going to be, and then how much of an adjustment you need to make. When you're ready to remit this, you just simply go up to pay liability, select your remittance date. So here I'm paying back through March. So we're going to go pay this in April. Let's just say it's April the 28th. Where did the money come from? Let's say this is my first quarter. Select OK. Check or direct. Maybe it was a direct online payment. You can put a reference number if you like and then hit OK. You can print a copy of your remits. Once you have remitted it, you can always come to search payroll remittances. And we go look for receiver general. That's when we remitted. Matter of fact, let's look at this year. We hit search. There's a remittance we just made. I can always double click and open this up. I can reprint the remittance if I need to, and I can undo it. So if I type in the code and select OK, it reverses that and puts it back. Now what will stop that is if the bank has been reconciled. And that is payroll liability summary and remittances.